Started shortly after I got out of the service myself. I served in the Marine Corps, a recipient of the Montgomery GI Bill, the older version of it, but uh, absolutely, I used it in its entirety uh, for my undergrad. This probably represents the biggest change in benefits since the introduction of post 9 11 back in 2009. And the Forever GI Bill, what it does is it extends from what was traditionally a 15 year uh, time frame to use the benefit after their last enlistment. to so now, essentially, those that ended their service after January 1st, 2013 will be extended indefinitely. So until they use up or exhaust the full, uh, the full amount of the benefit. The VA is now looking to restore benefits uh, for those students who either attended a school that is no longer eligible or for a program that was disapproved. They're going to look to provide those benefits back to the student and, and make them whole again. Now, uh, one of the programs that's in a sunset period, which is the Reserve Educational Assistance Program, was essentially being uh, done away with. They're allowing those reservists that were called up to active duty since 9-11 to use that time towards their post-9-11 eligibility. It's a transition from one benefit that they had to the next, um, but it's into a better benefit. Those that are eligible for the Dependent Educational Assistance Program, traditionally they've received 45 months of benefit. It is now being reduced or brought in line with the rest of the benefits uh, down to 36 months, but they will be providing an additional approximately $200 every month to those students. So while they'll get a little bit more every month, they'll have fewer months to use it, and the delineation date for that is August 1st, 2018. So folks that started using it after that will have the 36 months and those that were before that will have the full 45 months that will be able to do that. For the post 9 11, it's going to be January 1st of 2018. For those that began using benefits prior to then, they're going to retain their housing rates that they've always received, which do fluctuate throughout the year, but they will retain those. For those that start after January 1st, 2018, they will be on a new modified version, which will reduce their monthly stipend some amount. It will vary depending on location. The VA's new website, it's vets.gov, so you can go there to apply for your benefit and or retrieve your certificate of eligibility if need be, all in one convenient location.